Hello, everyone. So we are having another question. A monkey of mass 40 kgs climbs on a rope, okay, which can withstand a maximum tension of 600 Newton. Okay, no problem. Okay, so what does it mean? It simply means if the tension in the rope becomes greater than 600 Newton, the rope will break. Okay, so we are giving the four op four parts A, B, C, D, and we need to calculate the tension in each of them. If the tension becomes greater than 600 Newton, what does happen? The rope will break. And if it is less than 600 Newton, the rope will not break. So let's do it. Let's first of all write down M is equals to 40, not 60. It is 40 kg, which is actually the mass of the monkey. I need to tell you one more thing. In case of the string, there is something called the tension. Tension is actually force and nothing else, right? So let me draw it first of all, so that you could be able to understand easily. This is actually a support from where a rope is there. Okay, this is the rope. And if you suspend any object with a rope, let's say if you suspend any mass with a rope, then there will be equivalent tension. This tension is just like the normal reaction. I have already told you that if something is there on the table, the weight is acting downward. So the normal reaction will act upward. But in the case of string, the weight is definitely, it is going to be act in the, back, the downward direction, but the tension in the upward direction. So what do you need to think? You simply need to think the tension is nothing but the normal reaction. I hope you can recall both the formulas in the lift formula because the formulas here are exactly same as we already done in the lift formulas. Okay. So what does it mean? It simply means if something is going upward with an acceleration A, the normal reaction will be given by M G plus A. And what does it mean? Here we will going to replace R with tension. Okay. And if something is going downward with an acceleration A, the normal reaction will be equals to G minus A. In this case, we need to replace the normal reaction with the tension in the string. I hope you got the points. Let's move to the next one. Okay. So the mass is 40 kg it is given and the maximum tension is 600 newtons. So T max, let's doubt uh, Newton, 600 Newton. A part, what is A part? A monkey, the, the same monkey which is having a weight of weight, uh, sorry, not weight, mass of 40 kg is climbing up with an acceleration of 6 meter per second square. A is given 6 meter per second square. And you know, the tension is equals to M G plus A because the monkey is climbing upward. And one more thing, the value of G is given 10. So this will going to help in the calculation. M is actually 40. G is 10, which is given. A is 6. So it is coming out to be 440 into 16. And we all know that 16, 4, 6, 4, 64 and 1, 0 is also there. So the tension is coming out to be 640 Newton. But we already know that the maximum tension which can stand is 600 Newton. But this is exceeding. So we can simply write down since T is greater than T max, therefore the rope will break. The rope will break okay so the b part of the question in the b part the same monkey is there so mass is again 40 kg and they are saying in b part climbs down with an acceleration of 4 meter per second so simply the tension formula is m g minus a so what is m the same 40 g is already given 10 and a is 4 so you can see 40 into 10 minus 4 is 6 6 4 240 Newton. As you can see, this is coming out to be 240 Newton, which is more, which is way less than 600 Newton. So the rope will not break in this case. So we will simply write down since T is less than T max. Therefore, the rope will not, this is P, rope will not break. We are done with B part. Now let's move to the C part. Climbs up with a uni form speed of 5 meter per second. Try to understand. They are saying climbs up with a uniform speed. What does it mean? Uniform speed. I have already told you that uniform means something is not changing. Initial velocity is 5 meter. Final velocity is 5 meter. So simply acceleration is coming out to be zero. So let's do it. This part also. Should I delete this figure? Let me do it so that we can have some space. So this is the C part of the question. Again, the monkey is 
having a mass of 40 kg because it is the same monkey and climbing up they are climbing up t is equals to mg plus a but the problem is here a is equals to 0 meter per second square so t is equals to m g is equals to 10 a is equals to 0 so t is coming m is 40 and this is 10 this is coming out to be 400 newton as you already know that this is less than t max so we can say therefore therefore the rope will not break the rope will not break that's it so this is the c part of the question and now the last part of the question d they are saying uh okay in part d they are saying falls down the rope nearly freely under gravity it simply means the connection of the monkey with the string or the whatever it is given rope sorry the connection of the monkey with the rope is not there and the monkey is falling down with a acceleration of g that is 10 meter per second square as given in this question so here the acceleration of the monkey is equals to g but it is falling down so what we need to do we need to apply the formula of t is equals to r no sorry t is equals to m g minus a okay let me write down should i delete the first part of the question let me do it so this is the a part in the a part they have said climbs up with an x sorry what i am doing this is not the a part this is the d part falls down so mass of the monkey is again 40 kg and what's next tension is what we need to calculate in this case acceleration will be equals to g because it is falling freely so t is equals to m g plus is it plus or minus because it is going downward so it will be minus t is equals to m m is 40 g what is g it is 10 minus a it is also equals to 10 because we know right 10 meter per second square so i'm going to simply we can also write it like this if i'm not going to put the values i can simply write down g minus g 40 into 0 tension is equals to 0 in this case also tension is less than t max so we can say therefore the rope will not break so i hope you got this question also thank you very much please do let me know in comments if you if you still have some questions okay thank you very much